I will start with the ending in the beginning that we actually did survive the cold snap that the East Coast had this past week. It was 34 degrees. It's middle of May. True, our frost date is May 15th, but this was a little bit over the top cold. I was especially worried about tender plants like the beans, the strawberries in bloom. I actually dug up my peppers and tomatoes that I had already started to plant. I was just too worried it was going to be too cold. Sorrel was borderline. Most of the flowers were okay because they are spring bloom flowers. This lasted for several days. Here's how it went the very, very first day. I can see my lettuce under there, so I think we did okay. I think I'm going to keep most things covered though today. It did freeze. Look, there's ice. I was right. Can you see it? Ice. There. Yep. Yep, it froze. I was right. I was right to do all the work. How about that? There's another worm. Looks like we're doing worm rescue this morning. Oh boy. Yeah, look at all this ice. Stick too. That's a lot. That's a huge piece of ice. It's May. Oh, I get him. Hard to rescue worms and videotape. Okay, here you go. It's in the compost. Okay, so we get another one. One at a time, I guess. One at a time. Whoo, my fingers are freezing. Looks like there's another little one here. I don't know, some of these guys might not make it. Ugh. Cold. Can't get him up out of the water. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if some of these guys are going to make it. He is moving though. He is moving. Oh, there's a worm. You need to rescue the worm. <laughs> Take him somewhere warm. He goes, get me out of there. Here, we'll put him in the compost. Go ahead, little worm. Like I said, this was over the course of a few days of the cold at night. Slightly warmer during the day. So a couple of days I could keep things covered, other days I had to uncover. But I used anything and everything that I had. I had so much to cover. But the beets did pretty well. They're just coming up. Spinach and peas, they're all cool weather crops, but I was a little nervous about it being so cold. I also covered a lot of my uh, climbing flowers just because it was just so cold. Like I said, I used every sheet of plastic I had. I used tarps. I used sheets, quilts, afghans, you name it. I used it. I can't say it looked cute. It was a huge hodgepodge of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But I'll tell you what, I did not lose anything everything survived even my beans i was so nervous about my pole beans but they did okay they're looking really good this is a local heirloom variety called big six and i really didn't want to lose them because i couldn't ha i didn't have any more seed to start i did put down some pine chips just to help uh, protect the soil just a little bit but that's all i did besides all the blankets
And of course, the kiddies were intrigued by all the afghans and sheets and things being thrown over the plants. Inside the greenhouse, it went okay. I did have to run a small electric heater for a couple of nights just during those overnight hours, but everything seemed to be okay. Really, it came through this one without losing anything at all. I wish I could say it's over, but it's not. It's going to be as low as 50 tonight, 48 tomorrow night. But of course, garlic, onions, lettuces, peas, spinach, carrots, all those spring crops will be just fine since we're not getting a hard freeze. But it still makes me a little nervous about putting out tender peppers and tomatoes, things like that. I was most concerned over my strawberries. I have three large patches. This is just one, so I had to keep those covered. If those blossoms had been damaged, I would not be getting little green strawberries now. So we should get strawberries if we get some warm days in just about a week or so. It was vet day last week, and the vet's kitty cat, Holded, likes to sit on the cat carriers and poke his arm into my cats and say hello. It was just kind of fun. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're getting your garden all planted.